back again. Um, something that I wanted to wait on, but I can't sit on this because this is just too big to sit on. What I got in my hand is something that's probably an American exclusive as far as YouTube, because all the videos I've seen come from other countries. Um, I could be wrong, but I doubt it. And it is the Gateway 3DS. Now, I just got this. this today is, I believe, September 5th. And um, I put the pre-order in last week at realhotstuff.com. Actually, I think it's realhotstuff2.com. It's the U.S. site, the one that ships out in New Jersey, which is good because I get it within a day. But this has been selling out everywhere where the pre-orders are. I know Real Hot Stuff sold out of their first batch of 100 the day of the shipping. And it comes in a nice plastic bo 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 yeah, box. A little windy. I was just working outside when this came in. And it's nothing really on the back. It's not really fan fancy smancy, but for 80 bucks it should have been a little bit. Now, it comes with two cards. The first one is the card for the 3DS. And the second one is the DS card. The DS card actually plays DS ROMs, which I'm not really going to use that much since I have a Super card too. But this one is the main event. This is the one that plays your 3DS ROMs. Wasn't really going to get it at first, you know, but at the but I figure now pick up because it has a firmware spoof on it and region free, which is a big thing for me because now I can start buying imports again. And a lot of the games that I want to import are actually dumped, so that's why I can actually pick them up from my local store and play them. And on the back, this one actually has its sticker. Not all of these do. There's certain sites like I think Mod Chips Direct and NDScore.com, the people that actually get them, um, they actually coming without the sticker, so that's a good thing. And that's basically it. There's no instruction manual, no nothing. All their instruction manuals are actually digital on their site. So I'm going to take this up for now, and I'm going to show you how it works right, we're and how to computer. install it. And first I'm going to show you how to set up your 3DS. I have an XL. Now it needs to be between 4.1 and 4.5 firmware. Um, it's still a little bit easy to find if you can. It just got to look for a 2012 copyright on the box. That's how I found mine, and it was exactly 4.5. All right, so... Just be aware that their work, they say they're working on it, but quite frankly, who cares? I'm just having this to screw around with it. Um, I have my 16 gig SD folder in the removable disk. All right, so we're going to put that over there. Now, the blue card is obviously the black card that you see. All right, we need to put, we need to copy over all of this. And judging by RPG, I think they actually, it's a clone of an ace card, I believe, actually. Not R4i, because I know somebody was thinking it was an R4i clone, even though it says that RPG is usually a ace card menu. All right, so after that's done, you're going to see this pop off real quick. I'm doing this gorilla style, so don't mind me. Now, the, it needs a launcher file. That's how it works. That's how it goes in the GW mode. So we're going to take the built-in 4 gig card oh I got a Samsung hmm. from the 3DS XL pop that in this part's actually easy er alright all we have to do I believe is put the launcher file on there and that's GW release I'll put is right there. All right. Now we're going to take it out and now, put it since in we the got DS. the both the SD card and the R4 card or whatever the hell it's supposed to be, the installer card we're going to call it into the 3DS XL. We're going to start. It'll go in the DS mode. And you should see Gateway Installer. Click on that. Gateway 3DS Installer. You need to install, and you see it's programming. And enjoy Gateway.
A to exit, and now we're going to power off. Now you see it's power off, it should be exploited. Now we're going to put a game on the 16 gig card and show you how it works. Computer. Now, how the gateway works exactly is it takes the raw dump of the 3DS game. What it does is it literally right changes the SD card to make it look like it's an actual 3DS card. It's basically, best way to look at it is it's an optical drive emulator for the 3DS. That's the best way to put it. And you're using your the SD is being used as the 3DS game card, which is why they can't put multiple images on right now. So we're going to use Win32 Disk Imager. Of course, I'm on Windows. I got my SD card in there. Now, here's the thing for the installer card that we just did. You're going to need to do that every time you play a Nintendo DS game. So if you say use your Super Card DS2 or whatever or, you know, whatever you use for DS, you would need to redo it again. So we're going to go to disk image. And, of course, you're going to have to go to... see if it does it for me. And, of course, it's not responding, naturally. Don't know why. There we go. This computer does what the hell it wants to do. Women, am I right? It's a very wrong one. And it's, I guess it's here. Yes, all right. Now I'm going to put on a game that I'm sure everybody has. And that's Luigi's Mansion. We're going to put that on there. And what we're going to do is we're going to write it. Yes, you do want to continue. And it's writing. That you're going pretty fast. But then again, I got a class I got class 10 card for this. But when my other cards come in, it's going to be a um, class 4, so it's probably going to take a little slower. Yes, it does take this long, folks. <clears throat> this is a class 10. So you can only imagine... And it is done. Now we're going to take the card out, we're about put, to put it in the, the gateway. gateway inside the 3DS. I'm doing this with one hand. Now the SD card goes in the back. So you'd put it in like this into your 3DS. We're going to do that right now. You click. And as soon as I get out of this fucking camera, I'm going to show you how to get it exploited. All right, so now we're going to go to. I'm going to end up moving it around so we can get better access at it. Go go to our system settings. We're going to go to other settings. Profile. Nintendo DS profile. And you should see it freeze. Reboot itself. It's going to take a couple seconds. And go back and there's your game I'm gonna launch it and we're gonna start it Empty profile, yes, yes. And as you see, it's running exactly like it would run on your actual game card. 
I can attest this because I actually have this game. I only grab the games that I know I have. Even the couple imports I'm going to try later, actually, I own. I just picked up the new Phoenix Wright. I know what you're going to say, why bother? It's going to be on the eShop later, but I want to try it. <coughs> you mind? You know? One of those people, if I, don't, if I love a series of franchises, I don't mind paying for the import. Let's skip this crap. And we know that. So what we're going to do, you need to press X and OK. And that's what actually saves the game. And that's basically how Gateway works. I'm going to try, I'm going to pause this right now. I'm going to put on my Phoenix Wright 4 card and I'm going to show you a quick demo of it working. Right, as you can right. see, this is Gaito Saiben, I think it is. But it's Phoenix Wright 5. Now, as you can see, it's region free now with the cart. Now, before the, well, this, before this really gets underway, I actually did encounter a lot of the, the issue that a lot of you have been getting th that I've read up on the boards and everything like that about the Error 5 with the Win32 disc imager. Here's what I did after a lot of frustration and looking around. You have to use Panasonic SD4 matter. All right, let me explain how this works. The gateway works by having Win32 Disk Imager burning the raw data of the 3DS game on the card. So it stops becoming an SD card and becomes a 3DS game with no code on it, which means, you know, no license or whatever the hell. Now, through that, you know, that's why it doesn't show up on your computer. You need to format it again if you're going to change the game. So, if you use the Win Windows formatter, it's going to get corrupted. It's not going to format it completely. But if you use the Panasonic SD formatter, it's going to format completely. This way, you use Panasonic SD formatter to format the SD card. Then the Win32 disk imager to burn it. No more error 5. Alright, so, and I've done that three times to make sure. Now... As you can see, it does work. Let me just turn down the 3D so I can see it better. As you can see, it does work. Let's see if I can fast forward. Whoa! Almost, it's on a desk. I almost dropped the fucking thing. I guess you can't skip it. But as you can see, it does work. And the gateway is going to be a little nifty item to screw around with. So, that's the, my showing of how the gateway works. And would I buy it? For me personally, yeah, because I like tinkering with stuff. But for the average person, you're better off just keeping your games for now until a multi-card solution comes out. It, it's pretty cool, though. i got to admit. Or if you import like me, it's good. So, with that... Johnny Blaze, signing off.